What up, guys? It's your man with the plan, Poorly! Um, I am feeling a little bit better than I did yesterday. If you guys did not watch my video from yesterday, please go and watch it. Pretty much, my throat was hurting. It still does, just a little bit, but I am a little bit better than I am. And yeah, anyways, let's get on today with today's video, which today's video, if you read down in the title, it is my second video of the new series that I created a couple days back ago where I review um, pop vinyls that I have um, called Pop Vinyl Reviews. And today I am going to just reach up because like right above me is the shelf that I have where I review all my pop vinyls or that I have all my pop vinyls. And I'm just going to reach up, grab one, and whichever one I grab is the one I'm reviewing today. Um, and I haven't reviewed this one yet, so we're in luck. Um, today I am reviewing from Sesame Street, Ernie. <laughs> this is like the first one that I ever bought out of my own money, like, I think it was, um, but it was Ernie. Um, it's dope. Like, I really do like this figure. Um, like I said, I'm not taking them out of their packages, um, just because, you know, um, I was always told if you take them out of their packages, it loses value or stuff like that. And I just don't want to take them out of their packages because I want to, when I get more of them, I want to stack them on each other. And I don't know how to put them back in the boxes properly, so I'm just keeping them in the box. But, um, um, here's Ernie from Sesame Street. Um, you can kind of see him. He's kind of shiny there, but, uh, you can see he has a little duck. Um, he's got a bright red nose, um, he's got that spiked up hair, and then he's a real decent figure, it's real, real adorable and cute. He is number five in his series, um, he is number five, um, some other, other, um, characters in this series are Super Groovy, Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Bert, and then Ernie himself, and then I think there's extra ones that are added onto this, because when I lived in Kentucky, I saw a couple more at Ga GameStop that had this same series um, of Sesame Street. Oh, well, okay, okay, I see it now, I see it now. It says on the back of this, it says, look for more pop vinyl, pop Funko Pops, Sesame Street vinyls coming soon, Bert, or Big Bird. Elmo, um, and then Grover. Those those are some of the ones on the back that were coming in this series after they made this. That were gonna they were gonna add on into this series. But this is number five in the series. I want to get Elmo and all that too. Um, but this is a real decent figure. I got it at Walmart here in Richmond. It, I came down to visit. Um. I came down to visit when I lived in Kentucky, and um, uh, I went and went shopping for some odd reason, and I bought this and another one, which I will be reviewing very soon. Um, probably, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I got this at Walmart, and um, I was really stoked to get it because... I was a big fan of Sesame Street. I would too of I would like to try to find like Cookie Monster and Elmo and stuff like that. You know, I'm not gonna try to complete the whole collection or the whole series of it, but you know, um I'd like to get some more out of this series. Um But I think it's pretty cool. I, I'd like to get Oscar too. Just because, you know. Um my life. It, it looks like the figure is really, really detailed. I don't see any problems with it, even if I did take it out of the package. Um, the paint job looks really good. Um, and um, it's kind of dented because my dumbass put all my pops when we moved down here in a trash bag instead of a box. And I learned from my mistakes. Um, but they're not too badly damaged. There's just like one, pretty much just 
they opened from the top, and then I had to close them back. But other than that, you really can't tell anything really happened to him. Um, but he's still intact, you know, he's still in his box. Um, there is a piece of paper in there too, I but I have not taken that out because I really don't want to. Because, just because, you know, like I said, um, I'm afraid if I take that paper out, it's going to lose its value also, you know, um, over time. Um, I don't really know what it is, is that is in there, though. But, um, oh yeah, and uh, some of these pops, like, they'll, they'll say, like, Pop Sesame Street, or Pop Marvels, or Pop... I have some pops that just say Pop, and not even, like, you know what's after it like I don't know but um I like this figure um see there's there's a view of the figure what it would really what it really looks like you know um but it's dope I like it um Ernie's pretty cool I would like to get like Big Bird and Elmo and some of those um you know I want to I don't really want to finish the collection just because It'd be hard to find all of them, but then again, it might be hard to find any of them because I don't know if these are even like retired, what or not yet. But um, yeah, um, but yeah, guys, the like I said, um, um, yeah, um, but anyways, I'm not ever gonna really take them out of this package or anything like that, um, just because, but. Um, I really do like this figure a lot. This was the first ever figure that I bought personally by myself. Um, and another one. Um, the rest before that were all given to me. Um, so yeah guys. But I really hope you do enjoy this video. And if you did, um, hit that like button. Share it with your friends, family, and associates. Don't forget to be PR Dust. Don't forget to join the PR Nation. And don't forget to be a Reckless Riley. I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> bye! Ernie says bye. Deuces, guys. But, uh, for real. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh.